talk to the author of the PNAC document? Is that what you're saying? I've interviewed him, yeah. Oh, you've interviewed him. Great. Awesome. I mean, but I'm not denying that, he's wrote, that he wrote those words. You didn't even know who he is. My point, Rob, is that if Pat wants to get on the radio and say there's no chain of custody for the samples that Stephen Jones obtained, he should search and investigate and reach oh, out to other people. Get on it, Pat. Get on it, Pat. Well, from, from, from the information provided in your movie, you know, I mean, that is the chain of custody for at least Janice McKinley's sample. Yeah, you know? I didn't, so I we didn't know have that the time. that's obviously a contaminated sample. Pat, I had, did not have the time to track down and interview the other three people. I had time to interview Jeanette. That's who I interviewed. His paper clearly determines where the other samples came from, what time they were provided, and all of that. Don't, I, I mean, I, I, have you read it? Uh, I have read his, yes, I have read the, the, the uh, what is it, active thermitic materials found in World Trade Center dust. I've read the whole paper. Really? Because he goes through the chain of custody in there. As far as I can tell, he has a map of where all the samples came from and what point they were collected. Well, I will look back at that, but, you know, I mean, again, I don't think, I don't think you're going to find that this stuff was hermetically sealed, that it was labeled at the time that it was taken, all the sorts of things that police would do with something that they're using as evidence. Oh, really? You want to talk about what police would do? How about the fact that the steel was scrapped and sold to the lowest bidder, Pat? How about that? That's destruction of evidence. Now, wait a minute. What about what steel? Mm -hmm.
Richard Sisson was his name, who analyzed steel from Building 7. He says the steel was attacked by liquid slag, which contained iron, sulfur, and oxygen. Because it came from masses of gypsum wallboard that pul uh, pulverized and burnt in the fire. He says there's nothing mysterious about it. Have you talked to him? Hang on. Have you talked to him? Have you asked him about his analysis of steel from Building 7? No, but I've read the reports. Did, the okay. Did, did, he, okay. Report. did he analyze I, steel? Do you want to let me finish? Well, did he I've analyze read. steel from Building 7? You want to let me finish? Steel? Do you want to answer let the me question? Finish? I do want to answer, answer the question. I have read the reports from the Worcester Polytechnic Institute that found examples of high temperature oxidation and sulfidation of the steel, a phenomenon that was never explained by the official reports in the collapse of the building. So Building 7 had steel that was analyzed, which you said was not the case. The Worcester Polytechnic Institute analyzed samples of steel, but NIST in their report explicitly says that no pieces of steel were recovered for investigation. I can't make that any clearer to you. Back to the phones here. Joe, go ahead. Hi, um, this is a great show, by the way. Um, I wanted to talk about Colleen Sheikh Mohammed, if that was okay. Um, yep. Dylan, I was wondering, what exactly are you or other people in the truth movement doing to get Colleen Sheikh Mohammed free, getting him out of jail? Because obviously he's innocent if we are to believe that 9 11 is an inside job, right? <laughs> well, I would say that it's very telling that the FBI admitted they had no hard evidence tying bin Laden to 9 11, and it just to, 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 to this date. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, Dylan, hold on, I'm sorry. I was talking about Khalid Sheikh Muhammad. Oh, I understand that, and I'm talking about the man that we were told was the prime suspect for 9 11, the man that we were wanted dead or alive for these attacks has never been held accountable or proved in a court of law to ha have anything tied to him. You're talking about Osama bin Laden. Yeah, the I'm guy talking is about his boss. Khalid Sheikh Muhammad. You're asking me if I have any efforts to free him, him, which is ludicrous. Hold on, hold on, let me clarify man? myself. I'm asking if you are doing something to try and help him get out of jail, if you're contacting uh, his lawyers, if you're setting up some sort of fundraiser, because you believe he's innocent, correct? I don't have enough evidence at my disposal to claim one way or another what Khalid Sheikh well, Mohammed's involvement is. Okay. Because right. I wasn't a part of the initial... Joe, I, I, okay, Joe, I got to uh, appreciate the call. All right, you, you're not saying. I got an email here, Dylan. Someone is quoting from the NIST report. It says, uh, determine and analyze the mechanical properties and quantity of steel and connections from steel recovered from buildings 1, 2, and 7. NIST is saying steel was recovered from Building 7. That's a quote right from the NIST report. Well, then I'm going to have to go and find my quote, too, because I explicitly remember them saying that no pieces of steel were recovered from 7. Okay, let's go back to the phones. Matthew, go ahead. Hi, my name is Matthew, and I was a firefighter on 9-11. And, Dylan, I had a question for you. Um, you say, and you've made it known, that you think that FDNY, FDNY rather, was part of the 9-11 no. conspiracy. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. I've never said that. I've never implied that. That is, that is not true. I've never said that the FDNY were involved in any way in 9-11. Okay, but you support Alex Jones, who has. On no, I don't. Occasions. No, I do not support the allegation that firefighters were involved in 9-11. I do not support that allegation. I never have, and I never will. So you've okay. never said that in any of your I videos? Never, no, I, I, would love for someone, I would love for someone right now to find a quote of me saying firefighters were involved in 9-11. All right, Pat, go ahead, Pat. Jay, Jason Burmes, your, your producer from you're the, on the radio final with Dylan, You're on the radio with Dylan Avery, not Jason Burmes. I, I understand, but he was your producer for Final Cut. He said absolutely the firefighters are in on it, that they were concerned about their pensions, and that's why they aren't speaking. This was that great. Uh, you're, 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 you're on the Once again, Pat, once again, obfuscation and changing the subject onto a person that's not me. Well, let, let, okay, let, let me ask you, what is the story with Alex Jones and Jason Burmes? They were your producers for Loose Change Final Cut. They are nowhere to be seen in Loose Change uh, an American coup. So hey, Pat, what happened there? You want to know what? You want to know what? Once again, you guys are changing the subject onto something that has no relevance to what we're talking about. Alex Jones and Jason Burmes have nothing to do with this radio show right now, and the fact that you're more content with talking about that than evidence is very clear. Okay, but well, I, I'll admit, well, I'm more interested 